Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bastiana Joyce. If you are new here, hello and welcome. So this is what I wish my nighttime routine looked like every day. So this was a Friday I believe as I was looking super casual after I finished work this is what I look like cute fit and because I had plans to go swimming because Fridays are my swimming days with my friend I didn't want to go home and then come back out so I decided to go to the library straight after work which is something that I really do love doing I haven't been in a long time because my card has expired but as soon as I get that sorted I'll be back in the library I love learning especially when it's obviously on a topic that I'm super curious about and i just love libraries i feel like aesthetically pleasing libraries really give me the feels like i really just love it and it does something to me i believe this actually stemmed from my undergrad because if i wasn't with my friends in each other's rooms or we went outside doing hood rat things i was definitely in the albert solomon library like that was my spot like i love libraries especially the aesthetically pleasing ones like they just do something to me so as you saw the swimming notification came on which starts at nine and it's a women's only swim i've actually always loved swimming even though i am asthmatic like and i'm not the best swimmer but i really do still enjoy swimming and when i go with my friend rachel it's always like a great catch up a little kiki and sometimes we'll get food after so it's always like a great fun activity af like get me yard right now i am always so hungry after swimming like i couldn't wait to get home like i was putting my foot down as you can see like get me home like get me my food i want to shower i want to have my food i want to you know get into the little routine or whatever this is my sister obviously being annoying when i get home because she has nothing better to do with her life but i jump in the shower i try sometimes i shower in the actual swimming center in the leisure center i don't know why i keep wanting to say swimming center sometimes i actually shower in the leisure center but because i was alone this day and i just wanted to get home i just decided to shower when i get home and i did that and i did my little skincare Care routine y'all i have a hate relationship with my skincare routine right now like i really need to get this stuff figured out because i'm not happy with how it be looking lately um so i shower do my skincare make sure i put on my little pjs or whatever and guys don't judge me but my pjs are looking a bit crinkled they're looking a bit they need a little iron but who cares like i'm going to sleep like on a usual day like if it was like my silk pajamas then yeah but i actually don't give a heck and obviously some perfume because you want to feel good my vitamins i really should have taken that 30 minutes before i actually had my meal but i told you guys about the vitamins in my morning routine like it's just great for reducing that tiredness that i feel throughout the day so i had my meal i had some traditional angolan food which is fonge de moamba with some um fried chicken like my favorite meal 10 out of 10 if i was ever on death row that would be my last meal like i stand on it or feijoada actually i don't know but yeah i gotta brush my teeth or whatever because the sis has to take care of her teeth these days and i jump into bed and this is where the downtime the relaxation the calmness the peace begins i start by drinking my water because we gotta stay hydrated okay i love me some water so after gulping away i grab my resources and first we start with a read so i actually want to be more of a reader i feel like i just need to increase my knowledge i want to be wiser and i find that when I'm obviously reading books, I'm less distracted on my phone and I obviously reduce my screen time, which I think is very important. I also want to consider buying puzzle books as well because I remember I always used to love like doing puzzles and stuff and doing Sudoku and that's always like a great way to occupy your mind rather than scrolling on TikTok. Like I really want to work on my screen time. Then I start putting on some worship songs. I feel like worship music brings me back down to earth like it really like centers me grounds me and like allows me to like you know almost like reach out to god like it's almost like that hello for me you know when you're in prayer and you say hi god or dear god like listening to worship or putting on a worship song is definitely that for me like as soon as i put that on i feel like i'm in the presence of god and i know that god is everywhere all the time but this really just centers me in that and i love it and then we get into the bible study obviously i believe spending time with god is super important and i'm currently in a season where i've really been doubting god's guidance and 
purpose for my life and I just feel constantly confused and in two minds about the things that I want to achieve, the things that I want to pursue and I've just been receiving more and more confirmation that I can find this guidance. I can only find this guidance through reading the word of God and I'm really making an effort to like spend time with God every single day whether that's on a morning um, as part of my morning routine or on an evening as part of my evening routine but I need to be in the word of God at least once a day but yeah I think Bible study is very important because I want to abide because I want to abide more in him so that he abides more in me as you can see I'm on my phone but I'm not just scrolling on socials or whatever I'm actually using a website called Enduring the Word and I feel like when I use an external platform or resource that helps me understand the Bible in a different way gives me a new perspective I feel like it allows me to um, bring in different aspects of God's word like different thoughts different interpretations and it allows me to get a greater understanding of like the scripture that I'm reading the Bible is so fast and there's many stories so it's really good in a sense that it gives me context in regards to some of the scripture and like it can relate one scripture to another scripture and I just find that it allows me to get more of a holistic view of the scriptures that I'm reading so if you are a beginner with bible study reading the bible then I would really recommend you looking at external resources as well that can allow you to gain more understanding of the bible but yeah then we move on to journaling guys journaling is literally one of my favorite things ever like words can't express how much I actually love journaling it's literally like somehow non-negotiable for me I feel like I can feel the difference difference between a day where I've journaled and a day in which I haven't journaled. It's the act of making sense of my emotions for me. I feel that it calms my heart and my mind, it reduces stress, it definitely improves my mood so it boosts my well-being, it allows me to process my emotions and it can provide me with a clear mind and deepens self-discovery and that is the key aspect for me because I feel like as humans, as beings, we always need to look for ways to improve, to develop and I feel like self-reflection, self awareness is key so I bought this pack this um, I guess reflection journaling pack from we're not really strangers it's like a online store community thing that you can find on Instagram they have a store and they literally give you a pack of self-reflective cards questions that you can journal about they're like prompts to deepen your self-discovery and it's literally the best thing that I think I've ever bought for myself like it's the best gift that you could gift to someone especially if they're into obviously personal development self-love all of that i find that there's a variety of questions in the card stack which reveal different areas of myself or my emotions and i really do love that for me um and then obviously because my water finished i'm always thirsty like i'm always gagging for more water so my sister brought me a drink put on my eye mask guys i cannot sleep without an eye mask ever since i started wearing eye mask yeah eye masks have been a game changer for me in regards to sleep quality so i would definitely recommend but that's it for me guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you've gained some tips maybe it served as an inspiration for you to switch up your nighttime routine if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and i will catch you in the next one ciao